Hi guys, and it's Pure Game and today we're back with Forza Horizon 3 and today we're in the Lamborghini Gallardo. Now this is probably one of my favourite Lamborghinis ever. And I thought I had a few in my garage. Obviously not. So I just went on the auction and bought one because I couldn't find any on the actual like the actual place that you buy the car, so I had to go on the auction and find one. I bought this for 365000 it's worth purchasing though because it is a brilliant car. Brilliant handling. Not better than my GTR. Nothing beats my GTR, but this is a brilliant Lamborghini. Probably one of the best Lamborghinis, I think. And what better colour than white? This car looks so amazing in white with a bit of a dark tint in the windows. But let's just cruise. We're not going to do what we did with the GTR and just floor it down every road. We're just going to cruise and relax with this car because this car is a brilliant car. Now, should we race this car or not? Now, I know we said we we're going to cruise, but obviously we've got to do a bit of speed. And this road seems to be sort of straight, so we'll go for this race and see how it goes. I know it's an easy, but it's Lamborghini Huracan versus Gallardo. Listen to that exhaust, though. Amazing car. The top speed seems to be 216 mile an hour, just like the GTR. But the thing is, with the GTR, it was hitting 216 and then going back down to 215. So technically. This is sort of faster, but it wouldn't be in a drag race due to launch on the GTR, but this, I wouldn't even bother racing it against the GTR. Nothing, no point worth, because this car is not a car to be raced against a GTR. It's purely this, it's just an amazing car. It looks brilliant, and it is brilliant, and it's just a nice car to cruise around in. I think we should do pull over here I think we should go to a highway long stretch I want to find a perfect highway right okay we'll start here and hopefully there'll be a motorway somewhere not a motorway there'll be some there'll be some sort of long highway that we can proper floor it like this here we go and we just want to go on this side. And hopefully we might just find a tunnel. And that would be the best scenario. Just look at it. How the sunlight just goes down on the collar. We're on top speed. Yeah, it's doing exactly like the... Hang on, no, this actually is slower than the GTR. Because it's hitting 214. Sometimes it's hitting 216 before. There is some turns on this highway. Yeah, I'd say it's around about the same speed. Hot speed, 216. Between 215 and 216. That exhaust, just, just, just one minute, I have to pull over and just... Noise though, it's nice. Perfect, it's not like... An F1 car that's just too fast, or like, I don't know, a car, like a, the i8 if it was on battery. Completely, just complete quietness. But, look at, see, we're doing a lot better. Than we are with the GTR because the GTR is probably too much speed to go for first time. This car is just a brilliant car to start off the series really with. It is the second episode of this review series, but I don't know, guys. You should decide whether it's a review or not, really, because I don't feel like it's a review because I'm not going over all the points of the car and things like that. I'm just saying what I like about the car and then flooring it down motorways and driving and cruising. That is a brilliant view, though. Just look at it. Just look at it. 
You know what? Let's get behind this. Ferrari. Pre order car. And I wanted to try and find a way of having it as fast as I could get it. And it's brilliant handling and braking and everything like that. But having a roll bar, but I just couldn't find a way of having a, like a, it with no roll bar. And being so good as it is. Because I don't really like the way it obstructs the view. But, oh well. We had a bit of glitch, glitchiness there. Oh, an I8. That's a nice. No, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's all right. A bit of a nice paint job on it, but it's a bit unique. Let's call it that. Unique. Whoa, we're not going like we did with the GTR, just brake, 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 brake. Yeah, I actually would have noticed them brakes aren't the best on this car. Lost. There's something you can't get over. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. I think, guys, what we should do, get some more head-to-heads and then do more of them street races. So I think that's quite a good way to test the car. We test it in, we're testing it in street races, obviously, different terrains. Obviously, this is an all-wheel drive, but just test it out. Buff, 48. Oh, come on. I wasn't looking at that properly. Oh, well, let's go. Let's see if this car can really floor it down the roads. We kind of messed that up. We left it too late to turn. To dodge the car. Whoa! The car's black. Just look at that view for a minute. Just let's see. Listen to that exhaust. How amazing that exhaust actually is. Yeah, driving a lot better than I am. I like watching the Stig drive around. <laughs> Exhaust though. That's why I like this car so much. Perfect sound, perfect hand. It's just perfect car all around. Hang on, this seems to be a street race. It's obviously one I've not completed. Hang on, wheel spin. Oh yeah. Celebration time, come on. Enter street race. I'm not sure about the front bumper though. The little red thing, I can't remember what it's called now, off the top of my head. But besides that, the car looks amazing. Right, come on. Right, let's get ready. Okay, so we're not in a class like last time where we were against some really hyper cars. 
Got some nice sporty exotic cars. An equal mix of cars, basically, it's not all too high powered cars. I was thinking for this Forza review sort of thing I'm doing. If you want me to do actual proper reviews, I will. I need you to comment down below if you do want me to do reviews. But if not, if we could maybe do a multiplayer sort of sessions like free mode and that. Where we can do challenges a bit like Top Gear. I can get me and a few of mates to do them. A bit like them other... I can't remember the name of some YouTubers that do it. But I know there is a few that do it. And that's where I'm sort of getting the idea from. We could do challenges like we do on Top Gear. And we could just have a laugh, and you guys will probably find it quite funny. Because I don't imagine his motor has been good. Oh! Drifting in a Lamborghini. That Lamborghini, that Lamborghini. I think that, that, that song should just be brought onto this game. I thought we missed that checkpoint then. Right, okay, so I am driving here and then start slowly doing that. And we missed that checkpoint for definite. Horsepower. Power. Or as James May would say, buffeting, buffeting, buffeting. And we had a serious crash there. Oh, we did it again. I thought we might be able to, like, put a bit more power into it. Let's not attempt it again. That Ferrari looks nice. I've got mine in, uh, I don't know whether you know, Yanimai off YouTube. Um, he had a Ferrari 458, I think it was. Yeah, it was. And it's in Rosemary Gold. I'm going to show you some time in the video. The brilliant looking car, and then I sold one on the auction. That's another thing I could do, guys. If you want me to do, like, car auctions where I make a car as brilliant as I can. And let's let's be honest, they're not going to be the best, but it's, it'll be okay. I'll do some really good hands on into it and put some good paint jobs on it, like Rosemary Gold. And you guys can buy them at the auction if you want. Right, okay, continue. Right, let's go onto the map again. Get street race, take all them off and go on to street races only. Let's see if there's any other street races that can be done. They're all locked. Okay, right. What we need to do is we need to do get behind some more races like this and off we go this is a hard one apparently that's the Martin Vanquish X99 this is going to be a bit of, of a close one maybe depends oh we fell for the same thing again then oh well let's see how good this car is straight past the Aston Martin oh that is a good looking car the Aston Martin The only problem is it hit the only problem with this car is it hit it's just like the GTR, it hits its top speed too quick. So you just stuck with listening to that noise and it's really annoying. Other than that, it's an amazing car and brilliant sound. Get behind this car, crash into it to slow it down. Yes, I actually did just crash into a Mercedes. 
I don't even know what Mercedes it is actually. I think it might be that new one that's just come out on Forza. Or the newer one. Yeah, AMG T R. Oh, 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 I'm on the pavement. They see me rolling. No, actually, if I start singing that, I'll start flipping the car, probably. Like I did last time with the GTR, just started flipping when I was um, racing the Mustang. These races aren't that far, are they? They're not like the other ones, but yeah, they race quite a bit of distance. We need four more races and then we can go to do a proper street race. Let's go for it. The Bentley. Nice car that. Straight into a Ferrari 458. Brilliant. Let's see, we can just pure... I'll go quiet for a couple of minutes because I'm going to concentrate. Let's see how noisy this exhaust can actually be. Now that was a nice exhaust no noise. Oh, Alfa Romeo. Close. 42 1. Kind of messed that up, didn't we? Straight into the water. Really wouldn't go off road with this car. Not all wheel drive. Oh! There you go. Race you. Come on, let's go. That exhaust sounded okay. It wasn't, wasn't like my Lamborghini Gallardo, but it was, it was okay. Here we go. Look at all that XP we're getting just for pure floor in it. And a bit of wreckage, obviously. Because I wouldn't be me without wreckage. Would not like to drive this car in real life down these roads. Like pitch black. You know what? Let's be mean and race the easy car. Could you imagine souping that up like going like the speed of the Bugatti Veyron in that little Mercedes? Oh, it's got good grip. Nearly finish this race. I think we've got one more after this. I'm not sure. We'll find out. There we go, we've got our little points. Forty-four one. One more. That pair though. It's like the pair of a lion though, because it's like really quiet and then all of a sudden it just pounces and nowhere. Yep. Get behind the Cadillac. A bit of an unfair race really, but most of them have been because we want to get to these challenging street races. Oh, might have spoken too soon. I'd laugh at the Cadillac and I just floored it past me. Here we go. Flying around the corners. Where are we? Completely like misjudged that corner. Oh, there's an XP board there. 
And we have finished. Through a load of trees into a tree. Bit of a burnout. Bit of reversing. Boom. I'm just going to leave this street race invitation here on your map and then turn my back and walk away. Okay, thank you. Come again. Yeah, I'll do this one. It's 3.4 miles, that's not that far then, is it? I was thinking then, that tree's destroyed, why, what's stopping me? And then I realised. Let's get this view, why not? While we're here, we may as well get some views. Doesn't get any better than this. We go. Oh, straight into the fear of birth. I wonder what car it is. I want you guys again, like I did last time, put down in the comments below what car you think it is that's going to be a pink slip against my Lamborghini. And will it win or will I win? Yeah, my luck, it'll be another master again. I really do not like this off-road in, in this Lamborghini. Look at it just flying everywhere. Destroying my Lamborghini. Straight into a tree. I probably need to get back onto the road. Because we said we weren't going to floor it like we did with the GTR and crash into every obstacle. So we won't. Okay, maybe we will. So we get back onto the road. Safe and sound. And come on. I... I was tapping it left and it pushes me straight into a tree. Just like GTA, the AI, they purposely crash into you. So I think this game purposely pulls you to the trees, like the trees all have magnets. Right. Ow! You're destroying my Lamborghini. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. I'm seeing a Viper, a Pontiac, a Pontiac, I think. And off we go. I think we're giving them a bit of a head start there, just like them. Okay, we got some, got some uh, unfair advantages for them, but then we get to the front of the pack. We got a RA, I think that was an Aston. Straight into a tree. Concentration levels, obviously. Oh, bit of a crash and collision. 
Please tell me that's not the Pontiac. Oh my god, that's the Pontiac in front of an R8 and an Aston Martin and some other cars. It must be um, a brilliant driver, like a wheelman or something behind that Pontiac. Be second. Oh, we kept control of that completely. I'll just say, guys, last time you'll see me improve more. Just watch the skills now. I bet you know, some like, I don't know, some massive van up on running at me. Well, not running at me, driving at me. I'd be a bit worried of a, ran, a van came running at me. Oh, told you, something would go wrong. Uh oh. Great, great T percent too. Finish line slips you there. We might have just messed this up, guys. Come on. Comment down below, guys, because this is going to be a close race. Literally going to be, he goes around the corner, I go around the corner, and it's whoever comes out of this corner first. Ah, move, please. Thank you. Come again. And across the finishing line. Boom. Just watch everyone else cross the line. So our next race is... Oh, wheel spin. Ninety grand. Loading. Win three mastery races to get the battle. There's a street race. And off we go. Really bad conditions for driving a car like this down these type of roads. Really windy roads. But we're going to drift it because we can. Oh, perfect control. I did not think I was getting that much control out of that then. Back onto the right side of the road. And floor it. Just that, gl it's not obviously real glitch in the game. It's like, it sounds like a glitch within the exhaust when it's going in between the um, 215 and 216 mile an hour. Oh, doing quite well actually. Boom. New personal. Oh, can we do a full? Yes, we can. That'll be our new celebration. We've got 3.7 million festival expansion available. Hey, Sean. Time for another site expansion. It's not easy being popular. Oh, wait, yeah, just because. Oh, have we actually got to go to it? Oh, brilliant. I wish I'd never done that now.
I think what we might do next time, guys, is... I think what we'll do now is we'll drive to Byron Bay. Not Byron Bay. Paradise. Paradise City. Paradise Service. Don't know why I said Paradise City. Surface Paradise. We'll drive there. I'll show you the Ferrari. The Rosemary Dog Ferrari. And then we'll drive this car to a nice little area, park up, I'll take you around in the drone view and then I'll end the video there because what I think I might do is use a car that you guys are probably going to laugh at when I use but I think I'm going to do a street race with a funny car next time and you guys will probably really like it but also again carry on commenting the cars that you want me to do next but I just thought for the first two videos I'd upload the Nissan and the Gallardo two amazing cars oh look at them tires or rims I should say oh bro where are we going concentration levels right there we go turn around this corner Knock the bin over. Okay. Hey. You know it'd be pretty cool if you could have like massive like trucks, like lorries on Forza. Could you imagine that? Just drifting like a Scania lorry around Forza. That would be pretty cool. Also, I'd see a lot of people just ramming each other. That's probably a big reason why they don't add them. It would be a pretty cool thing to have. Right, okay. Here you go, I'll show you the... Oh, we got an achievement. Woo! Probably most of you that are watching this video will have this purely because you like falls and you'll probably play it loads yourselves and the ones that don't well fair enough because I hardly play it much but I think it's a good game and there's loads of good cars we can use what car guys um I quite actually like the idea of that I also like the idea of that hmm I think we'll go for that because we can do a lot with this car That's what a paint jobs can we even get on this? Want that's what I was looking for. That's what I was hoping would be here. And what we'll do, we'll design it, and then we'll leave it. And I'll show you the Ferrari, and then we'll go back out to Lamborghini Gallardo. I'll find somewhere nice to park. I'll take you a tour around it with the drone, and then I'll do a couple of revs. And um, we'll end it there. I remember this car in Need for Speed, it was brilliant. I think it was Need for Speed Most Wanted, wasn't it? Right, so it was the original Need for Speed Most Wanted, though. You had to get this car back. It was like the top, like number one. You had to go through all the other cars to get it. Anyway, right, my cars. I'll save you the details of going through all the cars. Alright, we need to go back then because it's Ferrari, so it's back at the front. Back. And gone. Nope, we've gone too far. Forward. E. E. F. Alrighty. That's Dodge. Don't know why I went that way. There you go. That is it. That is my Rosemary Gold, just like Yanimize. A brilliant looking car. Look at it. I don't know why I'm reviewing this car. I just thought I might show you. Because this is the type of paint jobs I like to put on cars. And if you want me to do more cars like this. Like rosemary colours. And like. Basically like wrapping cars pretty much. But like chrome colours. Like I like the chrome blue and things like that. Chrome. 
chromed out colours basically. If you want me to auction cars like that, then put in the comments and I will auction them. Right, now back to the Lambam. The car that we actually all came here for. Go back to L. Get the Lamborghini out. When you're ready to venture out again, you might want to take a look at these. I'm alright, thank you. Oh, we have to, don't we? Well, it wants us to put a marker somewhere, I think. Yeah. But no, we're not. Okay, right. Go for our last final cruise. That's why I was in the garage for so long. Because I wanted it to go day. Because this place looks amazing at day. No rain or anything like that. Right, I'll go down this road. You know what one game I really want to be made is Test Drive Unlimited 3. Something like that. Where you can buy your mansions and your yachts and your houses and your garages. And you have still have all that car customization and the person customization. That would be brilliant if Forza went like that or someone made Test Drive Unlimited 3. I don't know whether you guys know Black Panther, but I remember watching a video of his saying that they were meant to be making a Test Driver Limited 3, and I think it would be brilliant if they made it like Test Driver Limited 2. It's just a shame that the company, I think, went bankrupt, and most of them went to go and work on the crew, but then the crew's got 50-50. A lot of people like it, and a lot of people don't. For me, it was a game that was kind of overhyped. But it was a good game altogether. Good, really good story. Just overhyped too much. Once the game was completed, there was nothing much to do. Right. Okay. What we're gonna do? I notice I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. We should always, you know, notice that I probably ninety percent of the time would be driving on the wrong side of the road purely because. Well, I actually don't have an excuse for that. Alright, okay. Nicely into here. Right, let's get the drone out. Give you a nice little tour. Lambert, just look at that, though. It's just an amazing car. I'm not sure about... Whoa, that was a bit about the little red thing, I can't remember what it's called now, but other than that, and them carbon fibre, but other than that, carbon fibre, mirrors, we've got a nice, I, I really like that then, the way you have the window, like you have a back window sort of thing on the engine, then you have your exhausts, and my personalised number plate again, drop on Sean, well, it should say shotgun Sean, but it just says shotgun. Can't get over how amazing that car is with an amazing game with an amazing view. But that's it for now, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this has been this video. The next video will be Hitman later tonight, but I will keep uploading Forza because I know you guys really want a Forza series. I'll see you guys later.